Welcome back. My name is Sarah Helene Dewey and today we're going to be teaching you how to bind and color your fabric at home using things that you have. Today I'm going to be using bleach. Um, I grew up here in Albuquerque in the South Valley and I love making things at home so I'm excited to share this with you today. Um, this is going to be for third grade plus. Um, you'll probably need some adult supervision and it would be great if you were in a room with a fan um, or even working outside because bleach, if you're using it, does have a really strong smell. Um, so today we are going to tie fabric using rubber bands or string or clothespins and then dipping it in bleach water, diluted bleach. Um, and if you don't have bleach, if you don't want to use bleach, you can use things like um, juice or other things that you have at home. Um, so you'll need some materials today. First, <laughs> you're going to need a bowl that's about six inches wide at least. Um, you'll need a rag or a paper towel. You'll need something to cover your clothing, like an apron or a work shirt. You'll need access to a kitchen sink and a trash can for easy cleanup. You'll need some latex gloves today if you're using the bleach. You'll also need clothespins or binder clips um, or anything similar, something that you can clip. Um, you'll also need a pair of scissors. You'll need some bleach. Like I said already, you can also use juice or something in your refrigerator that stains. So some things you can use are coffee, um, like grape juice, cranberry juice, um, watered down red chili sauce, or tomato sauce, you can use ketchup that's watered down, or mustard, anything um, thick you want to add water to so that it's runny like water is. Um, you'll also need access to water. You'll need newspaper, tablecloth, or a tarp to cover your workspace and you'll need some fabric. Since I'm using bleach, I'm gonna use um, some darker fabric because um, I'll be taking away color. Um, if you're using juice or mustard or something, you might want a lighter color fabric. Um, the fabric should be natural, meaning cotton or wool or um, some kind of natural fiber other than polyester. Um, it can have some polyester, but not all polyester. You can also use jeans and pillowcases um, or old sheets that you have that you want to rip up and use because um, you can, after you print these things, you can sew them into other projects if you want. And the last thing you're going to need is some rubber bands or string or strips of fabric because um, we'll be wrapping fabric today. Um, so gather your materials and then come back. Um, one word that we'll be going over today is resist. So resist means to withstand the action or effect of. So when we're putting our rubber bands or string on our fabric, um, that acts as a resist um, when we dip it into our bleach water. So the resist that we'll be using today keeps the bleach water or the juice, whatever you're using, from going into the fabric and everywhere else where there's not a resist um, will be saturated with whatever, um, whatever dye we're using today. So that's resist. So remember that you can pause the video at any point and rewind if you want um, and go back and review. And right now you can go gather your materials and come back and we'll get started. Hi, welcome. Um, so you should have all of your materials together now. Um, the first thing you're going to do is put on your apron or your work shirt. Um, you can pull up your sleeves, tie back your hair if you have any dangly jewelry. Um, take it off. You can also, if you have a shirt that you don't mind getting dirty, you can just wear that. Um, then we're going to set up our workspace. I have some plastic on the table. That's good for the bleach, but I also have newspaper, and if you have a tablecloth or something you want to spread out, um, go ahead and do that now. Oops. I typically like to have um, the newspaper in my workspace, about right here. Um, 
And then also you're going to want some newspaper or tarp on the side a little bit so you can put your finished projects to the side. We're gonna get some of our clips and stuff. I have some clothespins, I have some binder clips, I have rubber bands, and I have string. If you're using string, you'll also need scissors right now. Um, and then take out your first fabric that you'll be working with. Um, typically I would do like a drying warm up or something, but this is a little bit um, involved, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. But please, um, for a minute, let's take a couple deep breaths and we're just gonna stretch our hands, stretch our neck, whatever feels good to you right now. Um, but it's just nice to take a breath periodically throughout the project, make sure that you're connected with your body. I like to do these wrist things and fingers, because we work with our hands a lot. Cool, okay. Um, so I'm gonna take out these things. First thing I'm going to be working with are rubber bands. And I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do. Um, you can use any of these things. You don't have to use all of them. Um, so lay out your fabric nice and flat, just so you can see what you're working with. Um, and then, since I'm working with a shirt, um, it's double-sided. So I can pull up um, both sides, or you can pull up one side of it. Um, and then I have my rubber band ready here. So just pull up, once you have it flat, you're gonna pull up just a little section, like this, with your fingertips. And this is what you'll be working with right now. So um, you can lay that flat on the table while we get our rubber band ready. Um, if it's a small piece of fabric, sometimes it's hard to like wrap it so much because rubber bands are big and stretchy. So I like to double it around my hands, and then it's just less work. Um, so with this little point, you're gonna just wrap the rubber band right around this point. And you can make it all in one spot. Or you can make it different like this. Okay, see how there's different places here? So I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna do that here. And you wanna wrap it as tight as you can. So use both your hands and try to just get the rubber band like that. Okay, and then you can lay it flat again and choose another spot. So I'm gonna work, um, I think on the bottom here. And that's my choice, you can work around the fabric, whatever you want, or you can just work on the bottom. Um, sometimes rubber bands are crunchy and they'll break. Um, it just means that they're old. So if that happens, throw it away. <laughs> cool, so I work with the point and on this one, I'm gonna wrap it around in one spot to make, it's gonna make a thick band Cool. It's kind of like putting up little ponytails or something. There you go. And we'll lay it flat again so we can see it. And choose your point and pull it up. And then get another rubber band. If you have different thicknesses of rubber bands, that might look really cool. Um, get our point. And we'll wrap it. And remember, you want to make it as tight as you can. Oh, 
Okay, so here's one. So I'm gonna pour the bleach now and let these sit for a couple minutes. Um, in the bleach. So I have a bowl here that doesn't tip over too easily. At this point you might want to ask for some help from your parents um, or guardians or people with bigger hands. Um, so you're gonna pour in your water and I'm gonna fill it about halfway. You don't want to fill it to the top because when you put your fabric in it could overflow. Put the lids on top of things, screw them in. Um, and then we have bleach here. So um, I'm gonna put three capfuls. I think that bleach can be a little different and it might take a little bit more or less, but I think starting with three is good. If you're using juice or red chili, um, that's fine, you can use it. Um, if you're using like a thick thing, like chili or ketchup or mustard, you wanna just add a little bit of water until it's liquidy um, and see how that looks. Cool. So we have our bleach water here. Now I'm gonna just dip these in there. You don't have to put the whole shirt in there. Um, just these, and I'm going to do it just past the rubber band. So I'm going to make sure that they are dipped into the liquid, okay? Um, if you're using bleach, now is a good time to put on your gloves. Just because bleach is toxic, and you'll notice that if you put your hands um, in bleach, which you shouldn't, but if it happens, your skin will get soft, and that's because the bleach, like eats some of your skin away. That's what's happening. <laughs> Something. So um, just be safe and put gloves. Sometimes they're kind of tight and weird. That's okay. Cool. So we're going to put these in the bleach just past our rubber bands and we're going to see what that looks like. Anytime you're working with um, a bowl of something, always let it drip off into the bowl before moving your hands everywhere because it's going to splash. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a minute or two um, and in the meantime I'm going to work on some other things. So I have these leggings, these are old, so I'm gonna see what happens with these. Um, now I'm gonna use some string. So if you have string, you can cut kind of a long piece of it. Um, I think longer is better just in case you run out and, and that way you just have enough to work with. Um, so lay your fabric out flat and I like to put the string under it and tie a knot. If you don't know how to tie a knot, that's okay. Sometimes you can just um, wrap it really tight and then wrap the string over it. Um, so this is the same thing as the rubber bands. You wanna make it as tight as you possibly can. And the thicker your bands are, the more it'll show up. Okay. 
And then on the last one, um, I put my finger under the string and I just slip the end right under it. And then pull it tight. And then there we go. So kind of slipping the string like into itself and then pulling it tight. Um, so I made three bands here and then we're gonna put that on the bleach. And don't touch it, I'm gonna put that, but then I'm gonna put my gloves back on, which is sometimes hard to do. This will do. Cool, so push that back in, and now um, I'm gonna take out my other one. So I'm holding this with my bare hand because it didn't get in the bleach. Um, but whatever's touching the bleach, wear gloves. You just wanna pick it up and squeeze it. And I've noticed that sometimes the pigment from the dye will drip out a little bit. And that means it's working. If your fabric hasn't changed at all, at all, it might, it might not have worked and it might just be the fabric. So then we're gonna take this out and let it sit over here on our project space. This one's gonna sit a little bit longer. It's looking good. And then we're gonna do another thing. What do we have? So, I have this old shirt that's kind of, um, it's got some holes in it and some stains and stuff. So I'm gonna do some stuff to it. I'm gonna do it with the closed pins and show you what that's gonna look like. So as you work, it's nice to just like <laughs> continuously make space. Um, sometimes I get excited and I have things all over. And that's okay, just every now and then just like move things aside so you have a nice workspace. Um, so put your fabric in front of you. And this is kind of big, so I'm gonna fold it in half. And I'm gonna fold it in half again. So when you're using the clips, you're just gonna put them right on the edge and what's gonna happen is it's gonna cause a resist right here where it's touching, where it touches your finger, and it's gonna look like a square on this one because that's, that's the shape of this. So, I'm gonna put this on the edge, just like that. So that's that. We have this one. I'm gonna try to put my glove back on. If you're working at home, you might just be using one thing and you won't have to <laughs> put your glove back on again. So for the clothespins, um, this is why we wanted like at least a six inch bowl is because these are a little bit big, right? So we're gonna put it in and we're gonna put it up to just past the clothespins here. And while that's going, I'm gonna take out my other piece that was sitting here. Cool, and you can see that this is starting to change already the color is shifting. So I'm gonna put that there. Put this. Okay. Take off our 
gloves. And then if you don't have clothespins, um, you can use binder clips. Um, they're going to make an interesting shape. Um, these are all a little bit different from each other. These are smaller. Um, so, let's see. I think I'll use this one again. I'm going to do something on the sleeves. So, I'm going to lay out my fabric flat. And I'm going to fold it. Um, a good way to fold things is just matching up the seams, seams. So this is symmetrical, right? So I'm just matching up the sides and I want to work on the sleeves. So I've got these seams and I've got the edge and that's what I'm going to work on. So I'm going to just put the binder clips on the top. I'm going to put two smaller ones here. So for me, what's going to happen is that this is going to bleach where I dip it and then um, where the binder clip is touching in these flat parts, that is not going to bleach. So, put the glove back on. I'm going to take out our clothes pins here and squeeze it out over the bowl. Um, and careful for these not to not to squeeze the clothes pins. And put that aside. And then this last one we have, I'm just going to dip the edge in into the bowl. Um, cool, so the funnest part about doing this project is unveiling what you did. Um, mine not, might not have changed a lot because it hasn't been a lot of time, but let's see how it looks. Oh, oh that's cool. So there's one, so that made like a circle. So these two, um, I did like the rubber band all together instead of making it um, like this. So these two made pretty much solid circles. And one thing um, that sometimes works with designing things is repetition. And repetition is just repeating the same thing over and over again. And oftentimes when you do that, it ends up looking really cool. Um, if your rubber bands are really tight, you could cut them, um, but if you don't cut them, you can reuse them for things, which I like to do. Okay, so that was the one, um, that I didn't do in one place. It was kind of all over the place, and it made, like, this really cool spiral. So that is one, and that is cool. Um, when you're drying them, Careful, um, so like if I were by a sink right now, I would rinse this out so the bleach stopped working, but um, I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit so it can bleach a little bit more, um, but lay it flat so that the bleach doesn't get on other parts of the shirt or whatever you're working with. Um, next, I did these pants and I did it with string and I've found that with string, it really just works better if you cut it so try to get under one section of it and get your blade there towards the tip and just cut it. I used one piece of string so it should should only take one one cut and be careful not to cut your fabric. 
And actually, I'm just going to cut all of it off because it's hard. So I pull it up um, with my fingertips and then get the blade under and then cut it. And then sometimes you can just wrap it off. Which is satisfying. Cool. So this one did not change too much, but you can see that it's starting to, it still needs a little more bleach, but it has some bands across and it's darker here. Cool, so we're gonna let that sit a little longer. We're gonna lay it flat over here. And I still have my glove, so I'm gonna take this one out with the binder clips. And I might not get to show you this one, but you'll at least um, get the idea. So we're gonna squeeze it over the bowl. And lay it flat here to just keep working. All right, and then I'm gonna undo this one just so you can see it. Clear your space. This, I'm gonna throw, the string I'm just gonna throw in the trash can. Cool. Okay, so when you undo the clips, um, you're gonna get little squares here. And it made a resist um, where it touches up here too, which is pretty cool. Um, A little hard to see here, but you can start to see it. It's gonna dye, it's gonna keep working, the bleaches. Um, and if you're soaking it in juice or whatever, um, it'll keep saturating it. Um, but you can start to see the little patterns across the bottom that we made here today. Awesome. So that is one way that you can renew old t-shirts or um, pillowcases or things that you want to make things out of. Um, it's kind of a way of dyeing using things that you have at home. Um, so if you're done dyeing, <laughs> um, we're going to put away our things. So the gloves, um, if they're disposable, you can throw them away. And I have a bag over there. It has trash and materials in it. So this I'm going to put in... Um, Put all of these guys in here just to put things away, rubber bands, they're hard to find sometimes. Cool, and my string. Put that away. Um, the fabric, you can let sit for a little while um, until it's dry. Then you're gonna wash it like normal, but um, for now I'm just gonna leave them on the table. Um, your bleach water or your juice, whatever you're using, use both hands to take it to the kitchen sink. Um, and if you're using bleach, make sure you you don't pour it on a plant outside or anything like that because it'll, it'll hurt it. Um, but put it in the sink and dilute the water. So pour water from the tap into the sink as you're pouring it down. Take that to the kitchen and put away your materials. You can fold up your newspaper um, not the stuff with the project on it. So these I'm just going to leave for a couple hours to dry and then wash and dry them like normal. And then you have some awesome project. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you soon. So today we first gathered our materials, then we prepared our workspace. Um, put on our apron and everything. We spread out our fabric nice and smooth and then we folded it and we bound it with different materials. Um, we prepared our dye. I prepared some bleach water. Maybe you used something else at home. Um, and then we placed our bound fabric into that dye, into the bleach water or the juice. Then we let it sit for a few minutes. We took it out. We rinsed our fabric. Um, and we put everything away, all of our tools, we threw away our trash, we cleaned up our workspace, and then now you can wash and dry your fabric like normal. Um, thank you for joining us today. It was really fun, and I hope you get to use this more in the future. Bye.